Hi and welcome back to FreeDU Hub. Today we are going to install Linux operating system and for that today we have decided to install Linux on our virtual box which is Linux Mint 21 and uh, the variant is called Vanessa which is the latest version and considered to be one of the best Linux operating system available in the market. If you want to download it click on downloads and here you'll find three different variants of it. We'll be installing cinnamon edition which is uh, bundled with the latest features whatever they have uh, released so far then you have the mate edition which is used for uh, the heavy installation of it it has all the features but it is quite heavy as compared to cinnamon and then we have the light simple edition of it which is used for the system which are not that powerful so cinnamon is the one that we are using and it is the vanessa version of it then we'll be using VirtualBox in order to install a virtual machine on our computer. In order to download it, click on Downloads and you'll be able to find different hosts for that. If you're using um, Mac OS or any other operating system, you'll have to choose it from here. We are installing it on Windows. So I'll choose the Windows host machine over here. Now we'll be installing it on uh, VirtualBox. As you can see, this is the latest version of it, version 7.0, and we have installed the latest plugins on it. Now in order to uh, start the installation of Linux, uh, we'll click on new over here, and uh, we'll select the name of it as uh, Mint Linux and then we'll choose the uh, destination of it make sure that you're choosing it other than c drive in order to avoid any kind of problem as you can see i have selected a directory where i'm installing all my virtual machines by the way we have installed uh, different operating systems from windows 2.1 all the way to windows 11 if you're interested you can find them on our channel now uh, once we have selected the directory we'll have to choose the iso file so select the path where you have downloaded the file then press next uh, you can choose a username and password yourself it is suggesting one username and password but i'll choose it for myself as you can see i have selected a username and password you can choose it yourself if you want to see the password click on this i icon and you'll be able to see the password that you have entered now i'll click on this one as well because i want to install the uh, guest editions as well once the installation would be completed so uh, it's recommended to check it over here now there was a small change that this next button wasn't highlighted so i removed the space in between mint and linux so now it's highlighted let's press next and here you'll be choosing the uh, amount of RAM and the CPUs that you want to dedicate for your virtual machine. Uh, it will show you the total RAM available on your machine. And uh, this red area is uh, the space available or the RAM which is required for your host machine. Uh, try to be somewhere in this green area since I have enough RAM available on my computer. So I'll be dedicating around about 4 gigs of RAM for my virtual machine and I'll keep one CPU available. As you can see that there are 20 CPUs available but choose it according to your own specifications. Press next and then I'll um, choose around about uh, 20 GB or you can enter it yourself over here as 20 GB and then press next now it would show you the settings uh, if you want you can review it otherwise just press finish now as you can see you have the virtual machine available over here if you want to check the settings of it click the virtual machine and then you can click on settings uh, but since i have double clicked on it now it is loading the uh, virtual machine and you can select which one you want to install let me maximize it you can select which version you want to install it i'll be selecting start linux mint 21 cinnamon 64 bit and press enter now it would start the installation of it now this is the live version of it like if you want to use it without installing it it would give you this interface but since we are installing it we'll click on install Linux Mint
Now once the installation is complete, let's go to devices and insert guest edition CD image to install the uh, tools and other plugins which are required for Linux operating system and then press run. And we'll have to provide the root password which is the password that we provided at the time of uh, installation. So it's installing all the tools which are required including the display drivers and rest of the things. As you can see installation is complete so we'll press enter to close it and now we can restart the machine in order to check the rest of the settings on the operating system. As you can see, we have installed the graphics drivers, etc. So now it's in full screen mode, and that's the starting interface of the uh, Linux Mint. Uh, if you click Start, you can find the options just like any other Linux operating system, and uh, it's getting the details of all the softwares which are installed on Linux Mint. So these are the softwares which are available with the operating system itself. On the right hand side we have the date and time just like in Windows 11 then we have the volume button you're showing the network uh, removable drives that we have and if there are any updates which are required for the operating system now if you'll click on computer just like on Windows 10 or 11 we can find the things like desktop documents music pictures and videos and downloads etc if you want to disconnect the uh, CD drive that we have connected you can click it over here and if we will click start menu you can find all applications which are installed on your computer which are listed as graphics internet office sound administration and rest of the things uh, the other button which is over here is for the uh, Explorer which is uh, uh, Firefox Mozilla which comes in pre-installed with the operating system and again if we we'll click start um, we can find this button with the help of which we can see all the applications which are there on the computer itself which is a software manager. If you want to manage the uh, system settings, we'll click start and we'll click on this button. So it would show us system settings where you can change the theme and effects background and rest of the things. Further, again, if you'll click start, we have the shell over here where we can uh, pass some commands. You can even find it in the taskbar over here. Plus, you can click on these files button just like in Windows 10 and 11 and you can go to the file explorer from here also. We have the Firefox in the taskbar and then uh, just like Windows 10 and 11, it would show the desktop if you click on this button. So if you click here again, it is showing for the file explorer and if you want to lock the computer or sign out. So it's pretty much just uh, like the uh, operating system that we use like uh, Windows operating systems, uh, quite user friendly and uh, I hope you like the installation process. That's it for today. Thank you very much.